weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Ramirez, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Welcome back, everyone. Looks like we'll just be hot this week, right? Yeah, we're going to continue to see those temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. The good news, we got some much-needed rain for us here this evening. Here's a look at the time lapse for the past six hours. Out of our Cactus West Cam, you were able to see those gray skies out in the distance, and then eventually you were able to see those showers continuously coming closer towards San Angelo. And we actually got some showers in and around town. Some of us received rain. Also, some of us did not receive that much rain. Uh, but it's not enough to take us out of those drought conditions as we currently go into the middle of September there. Uh, but look Looking at our pictures, this we got did get some good pictures this afternoon. This one was sent in from Bree Delatori out in uh, near in, here in San Angelo. This is out behind Lincoln Middle School. You're able to see those uh, that glow and those cloud coverage just kind of coming in there uh, off to the west. But of course, of course, as we go into the next several days, you're going to continue to see those temperatures just well above average. Here's a look at the highs so far for the month of September. Temperatures remaining in the mid to upper 90s. All 24 days have been above average. Our normal high for this time of year is 86 degrees, and we're going to continue to. See see above average temperatures as we go into the next several days. Here's our six to 10 day temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. Uh, well above average temperatures all across the south and south, south central U.S. And of course, the only folks that are getting some well below average temperatures are folks up in the Pacific Northwest. So we're going to continue to see those temperatures in the mid 90s as we go into the next seven days. Across the nation, we're dealing with an upper level disturbance all across the state of Texas. And then we are looking at our next weather system that's currently off towards the east there. But of course, looking at our radar right now, we are seeing those showers starting to taper off for, here, for us here in San Angelo and now they're kind of uh, becoming more widespread and heavy in and around the Ballinger area in and around uh, Reynolds County and so miles definitely seeing some heavy rain right now as that moves off to the northeast there as we look at those uh, heavy rain and of course the area is actually under that severe drought conditions look futurecast has these showers lingering at least until tomorrow morning just a few showers occasional showers are possible temperatures getting down to the low 70s as we get into tomorrow morning but other than that tomorrow partly cloudy conditions with temperatures once again rising into the 90s as we head into Tuesday and of course we're going to see just a few spotty showers possible but from Tuesday all the way until the end of the work week we're just going to see some quiet conditions. Here's a look at our drought monitor as we look at for this week here we are actually seeing, seeing those extreme drought conditions creeping into Tom Green County there and so the folks that need the most rain are the folks in Reynolds County and our northeastern portions of Tom Green County there and of course all the rain that we did see today is not really going to take us out of that drought conditions. So looking in for the next several days we are keeping an eye on our next weather system that's going to Expected to come through uh, West Texas here. This is our upper low. This is the upper level low that's on the way. This could cause a few showers to be in the forecast as we go into to the next uh, several days there. But as we head into Friday, expect a few occasional showers. And then some weather models are hinting around of our first big cold front that could be in the picture as we head into next Monday and Tuesday there as we go into the start of next week. But looking at our extended future cast across West Texas, we are seeing just a few occasional showers possible from Tuesday. Partly cloudy conditions. Conditions. Highs remaining in the mid 90s. We're going to see just a few cloud cover. Like I mentioned before, we're continuing to see that situation where most of our western counties are getting more of that rainfall uh, from stretching from the Permian Basin to our western counties of the Concho Valley here. Uh, but as we go into Friday, that's our next chance for some slight rain showers. But as we go into Saturday and Sunday, just partly cloudy conditions, continuing to see those temperatures well above average as we go into the next uh, several days there. Playing your Thursday or Tuesday, actually, mostly cloudy conditions for the morning hours. Temperatures getting down to the 80s, 90 one degrees by 2 p.m. rising to 93 and potentially getting up to 95 degrees as we go into the hottest time of the day and of course for tonight overnight temps at 74 a few lingering showers possible 20 percent chance of those isolated thunderstorms and we're continuing to see that on radar as we go into those overnight hours but tomorrow another hot day is in store for us high of 96 with partly cloudy conditions and for the next seven days expect to see those temperatures just remain in the 90s well above average with some partly cloudy conditions for Wednesday and Thursday overnight temps in the low 70s and as we go into next Friday that's where we're going to see just a slight chance for some rain showers for Friday and Saturday, but then overnight temps in the low 70s. We could get into the 60s as we go into Friday night into Saturday morning. I really enjoyed that rain earlier. Yeah, it was actually cooled us down a little, just a little bit. Yes, it was wonderful. All right, thanks, Chris. Coming up on KSAN News.